welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you guys for your continued support please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and turn on the bell for more video welcome our new members to the old ones god bless if you're passing by please join us as you're supporting us may the lord support you in everything you lay your hands amen to the news and details guys please kindly do us a favor by hitting that red button that says subscribe turn on the bell that says all thereby you get to know when we upload new video okay guys to the news of the day i promise to bring us more updates on Abba Kieri and here it comes the latest update by Dr. Kemi Olulaya which you're going to be watching in few minutes is he has been fired and replaced by Tunji you're going to be hearing more about who Tunji is what he's capable of and how well he has done for himself okay guys remember that Abba denied yes that he never collected anything from hush puppy it might please you to know that hush puppy has allowed the fbi into his whatsapp chat with abba Kieri. and lo and behold the whole truth are before you what is in line for and for those people that are still saying oh no he can't do it he's a super cop they are trying to tarnish his image who told you every day is for the thief and one day is for the owner it is payback time nowhere to hide i'm going to allow us into the video but do not forget to put your comments in the section below please like this video and share it out i will see us on my next video once more credit goes to dr kemi olulayo please watch kemi amalulu olulayo in lagos nigeria it's the 2nd of august 2021 we have breaking news coming out of abuja where we're now learning that the inspector general of police has fired abakiari now in the last 48 hours most of you heard that kiari has been suspended from the nigerian police pending an investigation by the psc that's the police service commission who will determine if he's prosecuted here or he's extradited to the u.s at this time we're learning that he has been fired by the igp and has been replaced by tsunji disu tsunji disu is going to head the intelligence response unit now now a lot of you know tsunji disu is the deputy commissioner of police and he's going to be the head of the police intelligence response team the irt now you guys remember i was talking about the irt on my interview with galaxy tv yesterday because i said they should shut down the irt and the sts the special tactical squad now when i said they should shut it down basically you can't just shut it down and have nothing they should reconstitute it with good hands the right people so the appointments of tunji disu is just a sequel to the police management's decision to fill the leadership there at the irt you know i had a problem with hush puppy okay running that area if hush puppy has influence with the dcp of the fraud unit then our integrity is gone i said all that on galaxy tv his relationship with hush puppy i told you that the americans have classified files and once they declassify it we're gonna see more he said he only spent three hundred thousand, took it from him and made some clothes but now the americans have seen you know they have since you know opened these files and <laughs> what i saw was whatsapp chats between kiari and hush puppy the whatsapp chats hush puppy has opened his whatsapp for them he did a plea deal he doesn't want to go to prison for 20 years so with the plea deal now they have his whatsapp his phone everything in those chats he transferred close to sixteen thousand dollars to kiari to arrest chibuzo which is eight million so what the fbi wants is how this money moved around money that hushwapi defrauded somebody off so at the end of the day <clears throat> there's a statement now that i'm getting from the police spokesman Mba is saying IGP has appointed Sunji Disu as head of police intelligence response team. The IRT is a good team. Guys, you need to know what's going on in your country. Okay, not just because I'm a journalist. You need to know. That's why I educate you about this. Okay? I don't have a media house. I don't have an office. Nothing. Okay, I do this in my home office and I research and do all this work for you. The IRT, the intelligence response team, is needed. If you know the kind of cases these guys have solved, 
I'll give you one. Professor Lebari, Potakot, University of Potakot professor, who was killed in his house by his houseboy, Gitman, and the cook, because he brought five million naira into the house. A whole lot of money that he gave him for a talk. They killed him, buried him, and his phone was sold. And the person that bought the phone was a student at University of Potakot. Okay, the IRT tracked that phone to that student. They brought him to Potakot prison. That's where I met him. You see, and because he goes to the University of Potakot, they linked him immediately to the murder of the professor. But it was not him. It was the staff in the house, two Togolese, and they fled, and they caught one. So the RRT has a very good record of doing it. There's always a good cop where the bad ones are. So at the end of the day, Tsu is the new head of the IRT. And that's what I said. Let them shut it down and put good people there who can run the unit, okay? And have them trained well. That's why I suggested Toronto Police should come in and have them train everybody. The STS is still out there, the Special Tactical Squad, okay? They're still acting like SARS out there. And there's some of the STS officers still extorting people. So it's very important that I keep talking. They're watching my videos. They're talking to me. I tried to talk to Frankie Bay yesterday. He's the spokesman. He has to tell the media and everybody else what's going on. We're going to support our police, but they have to be good. They have to know the job. ITP Usman Al-Kheli -Al you know, said he assures the citizens, we the citizens, okay, that the IRT will remain focused on the discharge of its duties with national statutes and international best practices. So Mr. Disu gets to work, okay? He used to be here in Lagos. You guys remember him. He's the former commander of the Rapid Response Squad in Lagos State, RSS, all right? And he was also the DCP of operations at the force headquarters in Abuja. So we have good news there. Abakiari removed. He's now facing all kinds of things. And we have... Um, Mr. Disu at IRS. So that's the latest for now. I'm Dr. Kemi Olunlayo. Until the next update. So once again, the Americans, the FBI, have declassified another part of their files. The WhatsApp chats between Kiari and Hush Puppy. So Kiari lied. He actually collected $16,000, $8 from Hush Puppy. I wonder what else is in the files, but let's keep watching. The PSC is still going to do what I told you they're going to do. All right, they're going to set up a panel, one CSP, two DIGs, and one AIG. The four cops will determine whether Kiari is extradited or he's prosecuted here. The way it's looking right now, it looks like they're going to prosecute him here. I spoke to someone who is in his team of lawyers, okay? One of the lawyers said to me basically that, yeah, they might just, it will be a long drawn process, but he'll be prosecuted here. They haven't told anybody officially, but I got that information. So that's it for now. Thanks.